Good evening and welcome. Our top story, the 24th of September will be a historic day for India. The verdict on the title deed for the Ayodhya dispute, in other words, the ownership of the disputed land in Ayodhya, will be announced by the Lucknow bench of the Allahabad High Court. This is after a court today dismissed a petition which appealed for the verdict to be deferred. The decks have been cleared for the verdict on who owns the Ayodhya land. The judgment on the 60-year-old legal battle may be out in just seven days. The High Court today rejected the demand for delaying the verdict and all the contestants in a rare show of agreement said yes to its rejection inside the court. The question was that we are not ready for compromise. There is no question of any compromise. The application did raise the anxiety around the Ayodhya verdict. It was rejected by the court. But the applicant's lawyer says that they still have the option of moving the Supreme Court. So can there be yet another hitch before the 24th of September? The other twist today was that one of the oldest litigants in the dispute, the Nirmohi Akhara, had a sudden change of heart. The Akhara Council asked for the verdict to be delayed as there could still be a compromise. But this was rejected by all other litigants. What has not been done in 60 years, it can be done in two days, three days, five days, six days. If a compromise has to be achieved. The hearing today became a full dress rehearsal for the state administration for verdict day. There was a huge police deployment at the court. All over UP, especially in Ayodhya, the police were extra alert. The three-judge bench will get back to the serious business of writing the verdict in the protracted, bloodiest land disputes in the country. The verdict will test the democratic character of our political players. It will also test the faith we, the people, have in a plural, just, democratic society. The courts have rejected a demand to delay the verdict in the Babri dispute. We, the people, need to reject a demand to divide. With Anand Zanani, Lucknow, Rahul Shivasa, for NDTV. The political parties have welcomed the court's order and have said that all parties should respect the verdict on the 24th of September. Look, the party has already kept its own opinion in front of the court that either the solution to this problem is to understand, to understand, to understand, to understand, to understand, और ऐसा नहीं होता कि जैसे कि परिस्थिति अब हमारे सामने है तो न्यायालय इसका निर्णय करे और न्यायालय का जो भी निर्णय होगा वो हमें स्वीकार्य होगा तो भारतीय राष्ट्रीय कांग्रेस अपनी उसी राय पर कायम है। I think right now the point to be emphasized is that this issue should be looked at as something which will ultimately be settled through the judicial process. If there is any such situation where uh, it requires then not only the government, I think all the political parties in this country will have to consider what is to be done to see that peace is maintained, communal harmony is maintained. For that, we have to see finally, firstly, what the verdict is about.